Hi, this is Ron Martinson of ronmartblog.com and I'm going to uh, walk you through a little uh, wizard here where I calibrate my MacBook Pro uh, running Lion using the latest Color Monkey display. So we're going to do the easy mode here. And this should be pretty interesting. So what I'm doing that you can't see right now is I'm flipping my display over and I intentionally popped it open the wrong way so you could see this other error message here that it's not done the right way. This is where sometimes you know if you've calibrated your display this is what it'll look like. So I'm going to switch it back up. Once I switch it it shows me that I'm in the right place. It shows me to put it away from my monitor. You don't want it right next to your display. So once I have that I'm going to click measure. Okay so that's my room's light. Uh, this is uh, 136 a.m. It's dark uh, outside and the room uh, has consistent uh, lighting here. Uh, some Solux light bulbs so uh, it's a little bit brighter than average. Now it wants me to switch my display, uh, color monkey display, and then actually attach it to my under here. I generally tilt my display back kind of far so that it's nice and flat and stable and then we'll click next yes it's just letting me know I can click OK to turn that off now what's gonna happen is it's gonna run through a bunch of different colors and um, brightnesses to measure what my display is doing and I've never tried doing this with while recording so it should be kinda interesting to see what happens while recording hopefully it'll work out okay um, but hopefully, at the very least, you'll get all the things that I'm seeing here, and you're not just staring at my desktop the whole time. This is a 17-inch MacBook Pro, um, previous generation, not the current generation. Um, this phase takes a little while, so um, you have to sit back and relax a little bit. I may cut some of this out in the final video. You notice at the bottom it says X-Ray ADC Automatic Display Control is now optimizing the luminance of your display. Now that the luminance adjustment has completed, um, it's going to go through a series of color patterns, measuring the colors and um, trying to compare those to what it knows, knows the sensor should be reading um, to create a difference between those two values. And that's actually what your color prof profile is, um, is that difference. Okay, now that it's completed, um, it's asking us to save a profile. So we save that. It already exists, so we're going to override it. It creates that file and applies it. Once it applies it, that's when the actual um, display changes. Um, you can turn on profiling from one to four weeks. I generally like to turn it off because it annoys me. Um, but it's advised to keep it on one of those settings. And then you can see a before and after. And I'm not sure how well that will actually translate on a video. But there's a pretty drastic difference. The before is rather blue. The after is kind of warm. And then there's other images in here. Um, that you can choose that 
sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. You know, I've noticed that uh, I haven't been able to get that feature to work lately. So I think the current update uh, somehow broke that. So anyway, we're going to go next. And if we leave this device attached, we can have the um, display adjust for ambient lighting. Since this is a MacBook Pro, that really doesn't make sense because I'm going to move it around a lot. So I'm going to actually uncheck that option. Then I'm going to say finish and we're done. We've just calibrated using um, the easy settings.